Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial I'm doing for the application for the computer for 3DS and DSi. Uh, what it does is it allows you to program in basic. I would imagine most of you already know this. Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering two things. Subroutines and buttons. Subroutines are basically, you can call them programs within a program. I made an example and my dog is scratching on my door. Go away, Zoe! Uh... <clears throat> oh, yes, and uh, buttons should be pretty self-explanatory. I mean, they're buttons. Really. <laughs> Alright, so, let's start. Load. Alright, I'm gonna load the, the sample I made. I believe the name GSEX. Yep. Alright, yeah, I'm starting off with subroutines, in case you didn't already know. Alright, so, there we go. It starts with that star, cuts it to the loop, clears the screen, and clear. Clear is something I've never gone over before. Uh, clear will clear the, um, what's it called? Yes, the system memory. Because when you're doing stuff with uh, GoSub, you know, if you're doing it at a very fast rate where there's no wait interval like this, the memory is going to fill, fill up very, very fast. And, you know, since you're doing uh, subroutines, the, all the programs are running. You know, the subprograms are running, you know, almost simultaneously so it can fill up the memory pretty fast so you would clear the memory each time it goes through I think I just gave you a wrong definition but I don't care um so starting you have go sub a b go sub a c go sub a d and go sub a e s it, it goes to um you know a label like go to does but I'll just show you the differences so at a b and in order to demonstrate the uh, you know the subroutines, I just used to locate. I print the letter H at the four different corners of the screen. So yes, locate, locate. I have the program. Then return. Return is something that can only be used with GoSub. What it does is it will return to the line at which you know the GoSub thing was issued, and then it goes down to the second. Or you you could just say it goes goes to the next line. So it'll do that. And it'll go. And it'll do this. And it'll just you know keep on repeating. Alright. You know, yes, so it'll return and go to go to go sub AC and it just continues on like that. I put the beeps here just to prove that this is using subroutines and it, I'm not just running this all. Just to prove myself that just to prove to myself and you that it'll works. So I'm going to run it right now. Yeah, you can see the uh different beat you can well see the Letters being placed everywhere, and the, you can hear the different sounds it's making. And that is pretty much it for subroutines. Obviously, you can do much, much, you know, much more intricate things with these. If you want to see, uh, you know, a very good example, my favorite example would be in Sample Program Seven. So you can load that up and look at it. It's the little failed shooting game thing, but it's also a pretty good example of um, subroutines. Now I'm going to be doing buttons. Buttons mostly are. are you know, you want to learn this if you don't already know it. Now, buttons are pretty easy. But, though, you know, what I'm going to be teaching you about them. I'm going to teach you everything about them. Those are still some stuff I don't know myself, but I'm going to show you how to get a value from them. So, it uses the ABXY buttons, or ABXY buttons. It uses start and select. And since this is a 3DS, yes, it does not use, and it can't use home. And up down left right which can also be used on the circle pad you know up down or up down left right I think I think it'll work <laughs> I haven't tried it myself yet but uh and then it uses the two shoulder buttons so let's just I'm just gonna write a little short program that will tell us what buttons being pressed because there's a value associated with each of the buttons it's a numeric variable almost this one knows what it is so it's just going to loot I mean loop not loot <laughs> print button I really think they should have listed, you know, button as a variable, because that's almost what it is. This is what I don't know about buttons. Little parenthesis. I'll screw around. I'll screw around with that later. But you can just do print button, and it'll show you. And wait. One. Go to. Label. There. And this should show us. Oh, right. There's that one command I forgot. <laughs> 
Just that's if that's what happens when you don't put, put the uh, clear screen command in, that will happen. I can't believe I forgot that. I usually always remember to do that. All right, here we go. There. All right, so that's up, and I am using the circle pad, so it does work. That's up. This is down, and this is right, which is right's eight, left is four. And if you, in case you couldn't read those numbers, up is one, down is two, right is eight and left is 4. The A button is 16, B is 32, X is 64, Y is 128, and the right shoulder button is 512, the left shoulder button is 256, the start button is 1024, the select button is, oh right, I forgot that ends the program, derp. Alright, and that's it for buttons, and you can, I'm pretty sure you can do no button equal if button equals something then do this so you can make sort of an interactive program type thing all right that is it for this video i hope this helped you somewhat any questions send it put it you know put it in a comment and i'll try to help you but but like you know like i've said numerous times you you guys know just about as much as basic as i do because i'm teaching you what i learn is immediately well i'm teaching you what i know almost as soon as i learn it so once again i hope this helped all right goodbye